And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Dreadway combo deck. This one's a little different though. This was a viewer submitted donation deck. Of course, that's what the two D's here mean. Um, but yeah, so our, we're going to be going for the combo with getting the Dreadway in play, double all the damage dealt by your skills, spells, and allies, and then Ledros and um, deal half the damage, but then double that. So kill them on the spot, no matter what their life total is. We played this kind of deck on uh, Tuesday, I think, and we, um, you know, a little bit earlier in the week, and we were actually able to get the the Ledro Streadway combo twice, something that I hadn't achieved the the first two times playing the deck. So this is going to be um, my fourth time total playing Dreadway combo, but it's really difficult to to pull off. But we have pulled it off a couple of times. Okay, as far as our deck's concerned, the other thing that we have going on with those two, <clears throat> sorry, is Spectral Matron. Also going with this 8-drop, where it's, you know, 6-6 six, six Fearsome, play, you pick an ally in hand, and you summon an exact copy of it. It's Ephemeral. So you can do that with, like, Ledros. You can put another Ledros into play, um, and then Led Ledros Last Breath will just go back to your hand. So that's kind of cool. But uh, really the main thing we want to do with that is be able to have Matron, on turn eight, put in the Dreadway, and we have three mana for Mist Call, so then we'll have our Dreadway die, we'll Mist Call it back, and then it'll be regular in play, and then turn nine, then we get to play our Commander Ledros. So that's what, that's kind of what we're using is the Matron with the Ledros and the Dreadway and the Mist Call. And then we just have a lot of other good things with Mist Call with this, you know, like we're playing Yordle Grifters and Zap Spray Fins and Gangplanks and all sorts of good things to put back into play. We're also going with a couple of monkey idols to help level up gangplank because we're going to be playing our three gangplanks so to get all the nexus damage in all the different rounds that's what our monkey idols are going to be in here doing um and that's kind of our deck all right so we're gonna go play five games over in normal let's see if we can pull off this combo hopefully we get to at least one game at least one game that's all we're hoping Okay, well, we're not going to keep the those, even though, like, Dreadway is part of our combo. It's still a 9-mana card. We're not going to keep it in our opening hand. Um, oh, I didn't update the deck list command. Sorry about that. This list is playing... Uh, oh, I didn't... Ah, and I have the wrong, I have the wrong list up here anyway. All right, we got to... Let's see, I'm going to delete that. All right, I gotta get the deck up on Mobilitics after this. Game, I forgot to do that. Looks like and I, I put the wrong Dreadway combo up earlier. Get him, Butcher. We don't have Riptide Rex, we don't have Smooth Soloist. We don't really need to hold on to Warning Shot for later. You know, the warning shot, that was already one per Gangplank, so that's two now. A chill in the air. So I definitely think that that was worth it, just to get the 3-3 three, three Butcher. Hello, love. In the field, you call me Commander. Hmm. Missed a chance to run. All right, so that's three. Our gangplank's gonna be leveled up on turn five. Yeah, sin into Lucian's a little rough. I will admit that is a little rough. I need more runs. Mega Rain's a great draw. I wish I would have had the Mega Rain last turn, so I could have just done this last turn. We protect these woods as they protect us. All right, let's go for it. Come on, try to kill Senna and Lucian. Yes. Wow, that was big. That is Bilgewater at its finest right here. Like this game. Bilgewater at its finest. What brings you here? All 
All right, Gangplank's already at four. If we would have Gangplank here, we have turn five leveled up Gangplank. That is not something that happens too often. Sprayfin with Mist Call is kind of a cool combo where like Sprayfin can draw you Mist Call, the Sprayfin dies, you Mist Call it back, you gotta draw something else. <laughs> I remember when I was new I tried to buff Monkey Idol to attack. Boy was I disappointed. It is disappointing, isn't it? I just wanted to attack. What's that you got there? I'm gonna hold on to you, Miss Ball. I'm gonna hold on to you. Well, I guess. I guess the miss calls. Fortune favors the bold. Have y'all ever killed anybody with missed call powder monkey? That seems like something that we need to do, right? Oh no! Oh, we get the monkey idol back. No, I wanted powder monkey. <laughs> forgot. I forgot the monkey idol died also. You've got dangerous eyes. I like that. Not just the eyes. You oh know. well. Yeah, Powder Monkey. If they would have both hit Powder Monkeys, you know, then we would have warning shot. What do you see, boy? But. He smells something. Love ya. I don't really see how this doesn't kill them. All right, monkey, you get to do the last point of damage because you're cool. finishes the job. See, we drew the combo, we won the game. Coincidence? I think not. We had Dreadway and Ledros, and we won the game. GG's. That was... We got some good RNG that game. Especially with that Mega Rain. That was clutch. We gotta try to go bigger than Leviathan. Mm. I don't know about Slotbot. That's four health to start with. But the thing about Slotbot is it has four health to start with, but maybe it'll just turn into like a a 5-1 the next turn, and then they'll easily kill it. So I decided not to play anything so that I could have this. I could have Powder Keg into two damage make it rain. But then if they... They may use removal on this Powder Keg to keep this from being two damage. 
But if they do, that was still just like my, you know, using a removal spell on half of a petty officer. To be fair, that would be us using removal on half of a spider. I think those trades worked out. Basically, yeah, so I guess it was just exactly our two mana card for their two mana card. They took some damage though. Our two and three two and three mana cards, sorry. Our two and three mana cards for their two and three mana cards. Yeah, Monkey Idol is a really good draw. Gang Blink's at three. All right, Monkey Idol took two cards. So we both have four, just two of ours are in play and two of ours cost a million mana and are nowhere near being in play. Black Market Merchant is a good draw. Because I'm scared of Spooky Swain over here. Swain's super scary. So hopefully Black Market Merchant finds us something to deal with Swain from their side. Oh, well. That's kind of bad. They discarded Noxion Fervor, too. Keep up, keep up. Really glad they don't have Swain. Cause Swain would have been bad. Alright, where's our gangplank at? We don't have the attack token on Turn eight, as far as this combo is concerned. Play again. All right, Ezreal leveled up as well. Yeah, Sprayfin drew a warning shot. Yep. Ooh. Uh, I don't have miscall call though. So since it's going to be an ephemeral copy, I'm just going to get the Ledros over here. And then... Oh, never mind. The Ledros will die and go back to our hand, so we'll have two Ledroses in hand. Well, I'm glad they're going after that and not going upstairs. Okay, and now our damage is doubled. No. I will break them. Wow, what a draw step for them. No, bummer, you can't say that. You said hopefully no thermo. No, you can't even put those thoughts into their mind. That's all right. 
Um, let's just kill him with Ledros after a little bit. Vengeance is a great draw, taking down the Ezreal. Because once we take down Ezreal, then the rest... You know, like, then I'm not too scared. Just gotta get Ezreal out of here. And now we'll be fine. Start making a bunch of powder kegs each round start. So this will do five and then plus two, so it'll do seven. All right. This'll do for now. We went big. That's the that's the key these these days. Is going really big. And that's what our deck does. It goes really big. The um the monkey idols have looked great in this this deck. That's something I wish I I had in my version. That um, somebody on U YouTube, like in the comments, said that uh, you know suggest should uh, suggested playing some monkey idol, and I was like, yeah, that's a really good suggestion. Hmm. We'll keep petty officer. We'll keep glimpse beyond. We'll keep one of these four drops. It's just which one are we keeping, Grifter or Sprayfin? Keep Grifter. Alright, this is a good deck to nab against. Cutthroat is a good way to turn on. It's a good way to turn on um, plunder. I will unite the frail yard. Safety will cost you. No. So I want to play this. I had two, three power blockers. They very like, like they very likely could have just miss call. Yeah, and then just bring it back anyway. Yeah, you know, this is a reanimate deck with Ash, so it's gonna be really hard to actually kill Ash. Uh, Open wide, sure. All right, draw two. Okay, not going to miss call that. That's good. Love stealing that card. Ye started without me. There's plenty of killing left. Plenty. There's nowhere to hide. Probably somewhere to hide, right? If I go with the Grifter, yeah, I think the Slot Bot's the worst card in our deck. I, d I agree. Like, this should just be more Monkey Idol or other stuff. Um, yes, the Slot Bot is the... 
it is the worst card in our deck. Definitely. Um. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Yay. Keeping these Yordle Grifters in play for like whenever I do want to Mist Call. I think it, do they Mist Call and bring Ash back? If they do, then I'm going to Grasp. Okay, they did not. kind of need to kill this Thresh with the Grass to be Undying. That was my plan with going with this Powder Keg here to try to kill Thresh. Then again, it's just another Ash, and Ash is awesome. It's not doing any damage to them. I'll take my time. Ooh, Chronicler of Ruin instead of Slotbot. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Chronicler of Ruin. No, place no I don't like the Chronicler of Ruin. Never mind. But yeah, I agree for us. Slotbot really shouldn't be in here. Uh, so these are going to attack. I'm going to get to five. Recharge Monkey Idol or Yordle. I guess I guess we already have a lot of four mana cards, so maybe not Chronicler of Ruin. Show me a target. So my only my three threes will be the only thing that can block. Leaping into action. Come to the light. Arrows at the ready. My aim is true! Hmm. Ever consider a henchman career? Take it up with my friends. trouble no <laughs> the absolute worst make it rain yes I understand what 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 Chronicler of Ruin can do but I also think that we have too many four mana cards 
I don't, I don't think that should be the card. Yes, yeah, we're playing against the Ash Re Reanimator deck. So that got rid of one of their units, and I'll still have, t and I'll have two. If I would have just, if I would play Spectral Matron, I'll, I would just have one unit, and we wouldn't clear out any of theirs. So this is gonna give me two, and take away one of theirs. And sure, I guess we get this powder keg. Of course, if they have a harrowing, we're going to just be really dead. But we just have to hope they don't have a harrowing. Wow. I guess they don't. <laughs> I don't know. I guess... I don't know. <laughs> I guess their hand wasn't good. I don't know. <laughs> you know, the next turn I was probably playing Ledros, not Matron Ledros, because Ledros is a play trigger, not a summon trigger. Um. All right, lots of puff caps. Yeah, that was a super clutch harsh wins for sure. Um okay, yeah, what to play over Slotbot? Oh, I keep on I haven't updated the decklist command. Keep on meaning to do that. One, I think we only have two monkey idols in here, and so I think one needs to be a monkey idol, because I think there's only two. And then it's possible something else needs to be a two drop because we don't seem to have many two mana cards to play. So I think there's only two slot bots, I think. I'm not sure if there's all three petty officers, but that's an option. I think there's maybe only two black market merchants. That could be another option. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. So these are these are sneakily the, the two most important cards. You know, you may think it's like the champions, but with this deck, Starlet Seer and Puffcat Peddler, those are the two most important cards. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. No. I was kinda of thinking maybe we could play Gangplank first and get the get the powder keg and then Twisted Fate red card. Oh, that is perfect to go along with those two. This is just the this is the perfect hand with that deck. Omen Hawk into Starlet Seer into Puffcat Peddler into Chump Lump. That's the perfect curve. Um, it's it's kind of better than having Teemo on turn one usually because Teemo is too vulnerable. 
dead men tell my tale. Knocked and ready. The opponent's deck is pretty decent. Yeah, it's 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 pretty decent. It's Usually most most games like whenever you win games with like these kind of team mode decks it always feels very satisfying. Troy won't do any good. Most likely this is a Fury of the North. As you can see. I would do an extra point of damage with that, but I don't know if I really even want to play it. Alright, hopefully Gangplank. It's a 50-50 shot. Hopefully Gangplank. Yay. We got a full house. of Ledros and Warning Shot. Wow, not killing not killing the powder cake, huh? Alright. That's gonna take down the Starlet Sierra, so that's pretty big. And you know everything else besides the peddler. All right, hopefully we can draw something we can play. Uh, I guess we can play that. They grow up so fast. What a mushroom help. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they need to cast that gotcha on the on the powder keg that would have saved a whole bunch of units, including Starlet's here. They're out there. I'll spot them. I think that's what they had to do. So Gangplank's at three out of five right now. Oh yeah. The strong will have the spoils. So that's four. Optimal outcome Take my time. Your king has returned. I'm just putting them down to four. Putting them down to four. If I play, the problem is if I play Ledros first, like basically they'd be able to play Sejuani, which would frostbite the Ledros, and then they would be able to block the slot bot. So like they'd be able to take out two things with one Sejuani.
It's just how do I actually kill them? This is going to be a problem. Fight for your lives. Okay, so that's good that they're playing Sejuani on my turn, because then I get to actually choose who to block, so I can have my 6 health thing block Sejuani instead of a 2 health thing block Sejuani. So that's good. What did we get? I don't think Sprayfin can draw anything that does two damage, can it? Hear that bristle? Varg offers a challenge. Alright, alright, I can't see my deck list. Okay, Dreadway has the most health at eight. So it's probably Dreadway. The problem is that they just go wide. Mm. Well, I don't I don't have a warning shot. Where am I supposed to get a warning shot from? Please don't play any more units. Oh no, I'm taking exactly lethal anyway. The fruits of conquest. Aren't I? Yeah, they have exactly Blessed eight. By snow and stars. Yeah, that wolf rider. Out, yeah, they have exactly. Oh no, they have seven. How many? That's three. Oh, that's only four, not five. I was thinking that was five. Yeah, that's four. Okay, well, we're not dead. Yet. Got like a 50-50 chance of dying, a 50-50 chance of killing them. Why would you not play that before attacking? What are people doing? I just have this 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll just... They're, they don't have any mana left to play anything. Instead of just playing the 7-7 seven, seven to attack, we'll just we'll just attack. Yeah, the warning shot, but it was a shroom. We did a really bad job of drawing puff caps. We drew a, a ton of puff caps. Um, you know, like with those draws, like there's a lot of them that were uh, multiple puff caps being drawn. No, I mean, this is a donation deck. I don't want to change it. I mean, yes, the slot bots don't need to be in here whatsoever, but I don't... You know, this is a V-verse submit list. I don't want to just change it. Let's get to it. But I, to be honest, I haven't really been impressed with Matron. Matron has kind of stopped my opponent from attacking, but I haven't been that impressed with Matron. I think that the regular version that I've been playing with Smooth Solos and Riptide Rex, I think those cards are better than, than Matron. But I think that the Monkey Idol is really good. I think that's a, a really good addition. And the Miscall has looked pretty decent too, especially with how we have such expensive cards. The Miscalls looked good too. I think, my, I think the person that donated uh, definitely on the right trail with those two cards. The 
without me. So while Make It Rain would kill them, or kill, sorry, Make It Rain would kill the Black Market Merchant, not kill them, kill the Black Market Merchant. I want to try to do Powder Keep Cake first, I think. Friends, I suppose you still want me dead. Not till you scream for mercy. Shuffle. Yes. There we go. And so they're going to be drawing a whole bunch of cards this turn. I think, did they just run out of cards? Oh, no, they did have a 10th spot. Seven mana. One good turn, hey, friend -o. So this is a good, like, Glimpse Beyond turn. Like, so they have three fleeting cards. Never lost a fair Alright, that was one of the fleeting cards. I'm a people person. Safety will cost you. Oh. I deal in coins and carnage. Yay. Riptide Rex out of here. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. We do have the combo in hand. This is a real I guess we'll play slot box, we can't really play anything else. You fight or you swim. I'll take my time. Casting warning shot to make that four out of five for Gangplank. Both Ledros and Matron are fearsome. I mean, so is Dreadway. They're all fearsome, so I'm blocking the 3-3 three, three and killing that. Has Yordle Crypto been my only thing that's died this turn? I don't know. No, I should probably just save Miss Call, shouldn't I? Maybe I should miss call. It's either Yordle Grifter or Gangplank. I'm pretty sure. Good. Making sure I didn't have a monkey die this turn or something. Alright, now all of our stuff does double the damage. Everything does double damage, including this warning shot. All right, GG's. That's the perfect matron right there of, you know, having the attack token with matron. So yeah, so this list has the two slot bots. Yeah, it has two Petty Officer, two Monkey Idol. Yeah, so I think just just basically take out the slot bots and just add in one each of those. Both of those cards were are really good. Um, but you see how we, we don't really have anything on turn two, so I could also um, see maybe putting in another two mana card. But honestly, Monkey Idol and Petty Officer are both pretty great, and they both worked out well. So I like, I like both of those. Um... That's true, Rex would have been just as good as Matron. 
Um, but yeah, I've you know the other version that I had that I played just a few days ago, I was playing Riptide Rex and Smooth Soloist. And so as you can see, if you can think about that, Smooth Soloist is cost seven, Riptide Rex costs eight, and then these. I only had two each of these instead of three each of these, but still that's a pretty high curve. So I think the missed calls do make sense for that for sure. But uh, we also have to kind of worry about our number of Shadow Isles cards. Um, that's another thing that Matron does, is Matron is a Shadow Isles card, so that also makes your Yordle Grifter wh whiff. And that's something you want to kind of keep down is, is Shadow Isles cards for Yordle Grifter, Yordle Grifter whiffing. Um, yeah, so let's let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just change it like that. And I never did get this version up on a Mobilitics. Let's do that. Uh, that's the code right there. And I'll go make the, the deck list. I don't need to record myself making this deck list. We'll do that right, right afterwards. But uh, yeah, that's what I got here for this Dreadway combo. Definitely very, very impressed with Monkey Idol for sure. And that looked great with Gangplank. Um, that definitely made Gangplank look better. And Mistcall. Mistcall was awesome. You know, we got, with Mistcall, uh, we got a Gangplank back. Uh, we got Yordle Grifter back. I don't know if we actually got any of these things back with Mistcall, to be honest. But the Gangplank one was pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so that's... That's the Dreadway combo. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about like the two different versions. Maybe if there's some way you kind of mix these together. Um, like on my version, what would you do to put in a Monkey Idol or maybe Miss Call or like this version? It, you know, like what do you think of like Matron or do you think that maybe that should be um, some Bilgewater cards like Riptide Rex and Smooth Soloist? Yeah, feel free to leave those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.